Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would you believe that just this morning I was walking in the parking lot? We have a lot of flyers on our on our car windshields, and I seen somebody crumble one up and throw it away. To my surprise, it was a flyer asking for your volunteer to be a coach. So what I got from that guy throwing the paper away was that it was either too difficult or he didn't have enough time. Well, today, I'm going to educate you on the four easy steps to starting a youth sports team. The first step is to find an organization. The organization could consist of a school, a church, or a recreation center. In this process, you will meet your supervisor or your sponsor. Also included in this process, you'll do some paperwork with your personal information, and the supervisor or sponsor will find out what is your purpose. Why are you doing this? Your next step, and your most important step, will be finances. What are you getting, what kind of equipment you will need, what facilities you'll be playing your games in, okay? Equipment consists of shin guards for soccer, soccer cleats. Basketball consists of Basketball nets, basketballs, uniforms, things of that matter. Okay, if you're doing it, if you're getting financed by a school, we gotta help you a little better because your principal would then foot the bill and pay for any league fees or anything like that. On the contrary, if you're with a church or a recreation center, they might not have enough money to fund your basketball team or your soccer team or hockey team. In which case, we would then have to go to fundraisers. Well, what could a fundraiser be? It could be a candy sale, a garage sale, any sale that can generate money. All right. Next process, we move to registration and rosters. In the registration process, you'd have to find what league you want your team to compete in. For example, we have a registration form that would list all your personal, all your team's personal information. And also, <clears throat> what division? Would it be boys that you're, that you're conducting the team for? Would it be girls you're conducting the team for? Also, it will consist of tryouts, if that's what you choose to do. Other options would be to just send out flyers to notify the parents that there's a team getting started, and you can get your, team, your kids that way. But what I have here, you can have a tryout. Allow a lot of kids to come in and compete for the positions on the team, okay? Once you get done with that, you will con conduct a, a team roster to find which, of, which players are the best. The best of the best is what you want, okay? And once you have your team selection, you then make your final roster. This is the team that you're gonna stick with throughout the season, okay? So last but not least, we have practice and play. In the practice and play process, at whatever facility you choose, it could be a church gym, it could be a school gym, wherever you choose, or field for that matter, this is where you do your drills and your exercises and you get your team ready for competition. Okay, this is where, this is where you lay your ground rules for the team. You give rules to stay on the team and what would happen if these rules are followed. Right. So, obviously, after we hone our skills in practice, we go to the game. This is where we test our skills. This is where we test what we learned in practice. Okay. This is where all the fun happens. This is where the kids find out if they're as good as they thought they were or whatever they tried in practice. Is it going to work in the game? Such and such and such and such. So, thank you for coming and being educated on how to start a youth team. As we see, it's not as hard as we all think. Okay, so hopefully next time I won't catch anybody in the parking lot following up any papers and throwing them away. All right, hopefully we can all get involved in youth sports and make, it, make the world a better place. Thank you.